Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I decided it was time to talk about my food intake. As I stated before, I am a ketogenic eater, and as many know, that is like one of the newest diet trends. Um, now, while I've never been a dieter, I have been hoping for an eating style that fits my likings and would be good for my overall health, um, while just helping me to share the desired weight. Thankfully, I've been able to find that satisfaction in the keto diet. So let me start by saying that I understand that this diet is not for everyone and simply the word diet can be a turn off to many, even me. I never liked the idea of being on a diet because I thought it was something that I couldn't or wouldn't want to stick with. However, after making the decision to eat the keto way, I've realized that at some point in your life, you have to make what goes into your body a priority. We won't be young forever and we will eventually lose the ability to be mobile or just pile on the junk food without being concerned. Um, for those of you that may not know, here is some info on what the keto diet is and what it entails. The keto diet is a high fat, low carb diet. And the traditional keto breakdown of these foods is 70% fat, 20 to 25% protein, and then 5 to 10% carbs. Now, before you think junk food fat, let me stop you. When we say high fat, we're referring to healthy fats like avocados, yum, like my favorite, nuts, fatty fish, olive and coconut oil, and butter, just to name a few. Um, when referring to low carb, this would include leafy green veggies like asparagus, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and zucchini, of which asparagus happens to be my favorite. Proteins fit in the middle of the two categories and comprises of foods like meat and fish, poultry, eggs, and cheese. With this diet being highest in fat, it forces your body to use fat for energy instead of the traditional carbohydrates. So even with your stored fat, you will begin to lose that because your body is now using fat for its energy instead of carbs. Now, when it comes to fats, there's no way that you can manipulate what part of your body will drop fat. But what is very likely to happen soon after you start dropping the pounds is the distinct difference between the carb face and the keto face. For me, the foods on the keto diet were up my alley. And since I'm not a sweets person, I felt like I would be okay. But what I hadn't realized was how limited fruits were on this diet, which took a little while to get used to. I mean, I can still eat fruits like raspberries and blackberries, but my favorites like mango, a cantaloupe, and watermelon are off limits for now. <laughs> Although I do sneak in a cheat here and there. Now, because I do intermittent fast currently, I only eat about two meals a day and possibly one snack within a six to eight hour window which is normally between 11 and 7 or 12, noon and 6. This allows my body to burn stored fat for about 16 hours a day as the only thing I will consume during this time is water. And of course, obviously I'm sleeping during the nighttime. As a result of this routine, which I've been following for the last 12, I'm sorry, two months, I have dropped about 15 pounds um, over the last two months, and then a total of about 41 pounds since I've started. I still have about 12 pounds to go, but I am well on my way. So all in all, whether I stay on the keto diet long term or not, I certainly plan on staying low carb as the, the types of food that I used to consume that had an exorbitant amount of carbs in them, just not worth it. Well, thanks again for watching and be on the lookout for my next video on my actual workout routines. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Blessings.